Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom. And we just came from the theater. We saw X, a A24 John that just came out, I think, last week or the week before, possibly. But, like, proud of us for seeing a new movie in a theater. So go us. So glad we picked this one. I'm so glad we picked this one. This movie is about a bunch of young adults and maybe a not-so-young adult who are renting like a, a lodging house i guess it was used by civil war soldiers it's on a farm and they are going to make an adult movie as the title would suggest x-rated maybe triple x-rated uh, if you've actually seen this movie and um there's something definitely weird about the old man that owns the property and particularly his wife and we're not really going to go into that because we're not doing spoilers, but he keeps kind of alluding to the fact that maybe there's something not right about her and he doesn't want her disturbed and he's kind of pissed that it's more than one person renting because he was not expecting that. So we're also kind of like, hmm, wonder why that's such a big deal when it's like a big lodging area. There's like four bedrooms at least. Don't know why that would be a problem, but we find out that it is a problem. Okay. Yeah, I. It's. It was just this movie was just weird from the start. It's just weird. Yeah, the soundtrack is amazing to this, but um. I don't. I really. I don't know what else we can say, without giving away big plot points and twists and spoilers. It's uh. It definitely has that grainy 70s movie feel. The way it opens up is that there is a bunch of people trying to figure out, like, what kind of happened. Yeah. It's cops at a crime scene trying to figure out what happened, and then it does the whole Beep. so many days earlier. 24 hours earlier. It, yeah. And it's crazy to think that this movie spans... Only 20, one day. Yeah, one... Like, not even one day, because... We don't get to see a bunch of uh, what happens before they pick the ladies up from the adult entertainment club to mm. the next day at daybreak. So there's like a bunch of hours missing that probably aren't super important. But um, I don't know what else to say without spoiling it. All right. So what did you like about the movie? I liked that this was incredibly tense it made you feel very squirmy and there were shots that did not cut away from the action that was happening. And that's like, I made the, the comment in the car on the way home. That's how they shoot adult movies. They don't cut away from very mm. important scenes, particularly the, the end parts of the important scenes. If you get what I'm saying, um, the money shot, let's say, they don't cut away from that with the gore and the violence, which I don't like. There's a lot of movies that will do that for some of the scenes, but this one felt like it did it for literally every single one, save maybe one of them. It, it was very intense. And the guys or gals or group of people that did the special effects were incredibly talented and the way it was shot was just a little bit unnerving. A little bit more than a little bit unnerving. What did you like about the... Oh, I liked the soundtrack, too. Um, I liked the one specific part of the person flying off the porch. And that's all I'm going to say. It was hilarious. It was really... F I don't know that... There were a couple parts in this movie that things would happen... And, like, the whole movie theater would laugh. Like, mind you, there was maybe, like, 12 of us total. Mm. But we all had that same sense of humor. <clears throat> and then, like, upon upon learning things about people, um, particularly the silhouette of things about people, and we were all just like, damn, like, all right, good for you, good for you. <laughs> there, this, I yelled, oh, shit, at one point. Because, mm -hmm. like, you knew something was going to happen, and I called, like, I kept calling things before they happened. Yep. And I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when it was going to happen. And I didn't know it was going to be as grand as it was. And it really caught me off guard. And I, I loved it. 
All right, so what didn't you like about this movie? I I had some issues with the pacing. It seemed like it took a very long time for, like, any of the action, any of the horror action to start. There was a lot, there was a lot of action, if you know what I mean, but, like, the the stuff that I came to the movie for, it took a, a quite a long time to get there. Mm-hmm. But like also, it was really worth it when it happened. It was just really well done. A lot of build up. A lot of build up. Um, we didn't get a lot of character development, but like just like a just like in porn. Yeah, I mean like we didn't really get to know like the pizza man and everything, but there there was like a bit of character development at the end when we find out someone like part of someone's origin story mm-hmm. which was interesting uh explains a lot yep what 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 were your dislikes there were quite a few i didn't like anything else about this movie i hate a24 because they shoot movies with this stupid stupid somebody thinks they're being artistic and thinks they're being so edgy and cool because A24 constantly does scene snapping where they go click, 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 back and forth between scenes. It snaps back and forth, one back, back, back. That is the most annoying thing when you're watching a movie. I hate that. A24 makes constant garbage and this movie is no different. This is the top five worst movies I've ever watched in my entire life. I disagree. I hated this thing from beginning to end. I like A24. I almost fell asleep twice. That's because you ate four biscuits mm-hmm. at Cracker Barrel. Delicious. Um, no, I just... It, there was nothing about this movie. I, I didn't... It was purposely... This movie is made to make you uncomfortable, to make you squirm, and stuff like that. And it, it's cheap. It's, 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 it's a cheap way to try to get people to talk about your movie because you do a bunch of borderline screwed up shit in your movie and it's i think it was cheap it's just it it's a shitty story it was a terrible plot the effects were the only good thing and it had and the effects had nothing to do with a24 which is why they were the only good thing in this movie i wish a24 would stop making movies because they're hot garbage I like A24 Thank you movies. for coming to my TED Talk. I feel like part, probably part of the reason why they aimed to make this movie feel you make, ooh, <laughs> make you feel so uncomfortable is maybe like it's kind of like mirroring how watching an adult film to someone that's like not into watching an adult film would see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think they're trying to be artistic. They're trying to say that they're smarter than everybody. And if you don't like the movie, you just don't understand the movie. No, you just made a shitty movie. I don't think they they feel like that. That it's the the way the way this movie was made, it, it's you feel like the people who made the movie think that they're smarter than you. I didn't get that feeling. I just I I wish they would stop making movies. I like their movies. They're hot freaking garbage. I like them a lot. Um So, how many stars would you give this? I would probably give this like a three out of five. I liked I liked the action and violence. The last thirty minutes of the movie and special effects. I really really liked the soundtrack. I liked that it had that like grimy um, like the way it feel was to it. Yeah, yeah. Like and I I liked the the way everything looked. Like it looked very late seventies kind of like. Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes to it with the creepy old house and all the creepy things like in the, the house. Like they trying to get they tried to give it like a nine millimeter. Kind yeah, of like, it had that like graininess yeah, to it. Yeah, I, I to really it... appreciated that. Is I do like a lot of like, you know, the the movies from the seventies that are mm-hmm. shot like that that are just like that. Yeah, that are like legitimately shot. Like yeah, that. they feel like they have a sticky <clears throat> layer of grime on them. Yeah, it has like that kind of like yellow tint to it. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a like yellowish like brown. Like nasty. Yeah, like the yellowish brown tint to it. Like someone's been blowing cigarette smoke at it for like 40 years. <laughs> you're, you're looking for like the little cigar burns. <laughs> so, oh, God, change the reel. Um, I don't even want to give this a star rating. I would give this negative 7 mil- million. This is the third worst movie I've ever watched in my entire life. What are the other two? 
Uh, the worst movie I've ever watched is The English Patient. That is the worst experience of my entire I've never entire seen life. That. The second worst movie I've ever watched was Moulin Rouge, which is which this film is very close to that because that movie was horrible too. I'm I'm honestly kind of surprised that you have ever seen Moulin Rouge. I went in high school. I went with a girl I was dating. There was a cat behind me. I think. Or he, or he ran, or he ran, ran out. No, I went and saw the movie. It was with a girl. What's that dating. movie with um, Christina Aguilera and Cher? Did you watch that one too? Burlesque. How was that? I hate that I knew that. I absolutely hate that I knew that. I, I, I've never seen that. I saw trailers for it. But I mean, you know what the best Cher movie ever is. Mask? Mask. One. No, 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 no. It's um The Witches of Eastwick. Nope, it's Mask. No, The Witches of Eastwick is bomb. That's Jack Nicholson as the devil. Like Ha. That's where you're wrong. Jack Nicholson is the devil. He might be. <laughs> what is Jack his... Nicholson? Did he ever look attractive? Not to be a dick, but like Yeah. Alright, so He just always looks insane, like he's just on speed. Ugh. I don't know. All right, so oh, my hell, my Hello Kitty tat, my little Hello tattoo. Your Hello Kitty tat. I <laughs> my Hello Kitty. kitty. Oh my, my god, Hello we match. Kitty. Oh, look at us, we match. Um, yeah. So you say watch the movie. I say don't go watch this movie. I'm not gonna say watch this movie. Don't spend money going to see this movie. What I'm gonna say is, um, I'm not gonna just like that one film we won't talk about, <coughs> a blah blah film. I'm not gonna say watch this movie. Because I don't want people to come back and be like, what kind of twisted pervert are you? If they don't know that I'm already a twisted pervert. But like... Listen, I, I nothing nothing crazy happens in this, <clears throat> in this movie. <clears throat> it, just, it just makes you very anxious. Okay? And they put two specific scenes in there to be like, the movie's so edgy because we did this scene. So it's one of those things where like it's there's like two screwed up scenes in it. The rest of it just makes you anxious, and it's it's it, to me to me it's like cheap. It's cheap jump scares throughout the whole movie, non-violent jump scares. I so, hate some of that. the jump scares were violent. No, no, no. I'm saying the non-violent jump scares. I hate that. Just when somebody pops up, like oh hey, and it's their friend. I hate that. They weren't friends. She told her she hated her. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm talking about when, when, what's her name? The cameraman's girlfriend's walking out front and the cowboy hat dude comes out. Oh. That, that's the cheap jump scare. You're, you're welcome. I warned you about it. All right. Tell them where to find you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom and podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. And, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, I... wait. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you. You can hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you also like Hello Kitty. Um, don't forget to leave a comment, uh what your thoughts were about the movie you are so rusty with this <laughs> i really am what was the last time you actually filled you filmed a review because i literally had to edit out of the last review halloween's almost here and i was like <laughs> let's delete that i part mean technically <laughs> it's either halloween or, or it's, it's almost, almost halloween, halloween. There's no other state of being there's only those two states so i uh. wasn't wrong also, uh, I work, like, a lot, so I don't have a whole lot of time to be reviewing. Oh, I have two jobs. Oh, I have to go to work today. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, I guess that's Are it. you going to... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, my socials are down in the Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. They'll all be down in the description. Links are in the description. Come follow us. We make funny stuff. And we'll see everybody later. I love Hello Kitty. Bye.